just fine. It was going to squeeze in one more story. Sure. Uh, the Oscar nominations came out. I mean, I don't really care. <laughs> I don't see most of the films. Most of the, I mean, I keep meaning to see Oppenheimer because it had so many nominations. Yeah. Uh, it seemed to be a very good film. I did see Barbie on a plane and actually really rather enjoyed it. Quite good fun. But uh, the people have lost their minds over mm. the fact that Ryan Gosling, who played Ken in the movie, um, got a, a nominee nomination. But uh, Margot Robbie, who played Barbie, and Greta Gerwig, who directed the movie and also uh, co-wrote the sc adapted screenplay, didn't get a nomination. I have to say, I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure either actor deserves a nomination for this, but yeah. they were saying this is proof that the patriarchy continues. No, it's not. It's proof that actually women do well in films that are not set up for them on a plate. It shows that other actresses in other films that were not a, you know, a singing, dancing advertisement for Mattel can actually do very well. You know, have you seen the movie Barbie? Because I is, have not seen Barbie. It's, but it's what much I'm, cleverer than than you. It, I mean, I'm a, I'm a, yeah, I heard the line about how can I be a fascist if I don't control the means of production and the trains don't run on time. Yeah, it's. It, I don't think it's actually going to be uh, that brilliant. If Ryan Gosling has done very well in the support role, presumably that means it's because it's harder for men in other roles in other films to be okay. as good. That's right, the way you then. should look at it. Okay, right. Uh, well, anyway, if you're up in arms about that, get in touch. Anyway, what I want you really to get in touch about though is whether or not you would fight for your country. Uh, this is a warning from the head of the army that the British public could have to be called up to fight if the UK goes to war. We simply don't have an army that's big enough. It's the smallest in centuries. I want to know, would you fight for your country? And would enough Brits be willing to sign up? Give us a call on 0344 499 1000, text on 8722, or get in touch on X at Talk TV. Tony's done just that and says, I'm Australian and I hold a British passport. Honestly, yes, I'd go to war. Far better I fight and die. I'm single and won't be. Wow. Wow. Uh, Harold says, I'm afraid the line of credit Britain had with me has run out. And Simon says, not a chance. Better start building some prisons because the majority of working class blokes like me would rather go to prison than fight. Very interesting. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you agree or disagree with what those uh, correspondents had to say. Uh, you've also been getting in touch on the phone lines. Keep those calls coming in. Uh, let's go to Wendy, who is in the black country. Good morning to you, Wendy. Good morning, Julia. Good morning. What do you want to say? Would you fight for your country? Oh, I certainly would, but I'm a bit too old for that now. Um, but I've got a son who's um, Roy Page for the army. Been trying to get into the army for the last two, three years. Really? Um, and why can't he get in? He can't get in because he's got a tattoo. Believe it or not. I now I thought mm. I thought they, the defence secretary the other day said that it, there wasn't ah. a, a ban on on people joining the army if they got a tattoo. There certainly is a ban on it. Um, these these tattoos they had, I can't be too specific because he's still going to keep yeah, trying. Yeah, yeah. To keep trying. I mean, look, I'm, um, I'm not a fan of tattoos. I'm not going to lie. But I, 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 if someone wants tattoos. to fight for this country, I, I don't think they should be banned from it because they've got a tattoo. No, I really don't. There's police officers with tattoos. Yeah. Everyone judges, there are high court tattoos. judges with tattoos, for goodness sake. But, but you're and saying, look, you, you and I were probably too old. We're a bit too long in the tooth to be called up. But, but <laughs> I, do, aren't you surprised by how many people who say they wouldn't fight for their country? Yeah, I am surprised that there's a lot of people that wouldn't fight for the country. But we have a prime example of somebody that would. My father was a para in the parachute regiment, passed away a few years ago. Mm. Um, and we've got a proud tradition in our family of people being in the armed forces. What happens here is that they go into, maybe they want to go into the army, so they go to the army recruited office. And because it's very, um, everybody wants them in their regiment, if they don't fulfil that criteria, i.e. tattoos, my son wasn't aware until last week, mm. that he should really gone straight to the Marines. Because in the Marines, you're entitled to have a yeah. tattoo. It's oh, yeah. the British Army, you are. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Well, listen, thank you for joining us, Wendy. I appreciate that. Um, and good luck to your son.